that love the Lord and love the people of God. Amen. I'm excited uh, also to be here because the Lord is up to some great things uh, in our life, even as women of God, as people of God. Uh, how many have a testimony? I'm just so glad that Jesus listened to me. Yeah. And we're thankful that we can come together and celebrate what the Lord is doing in our lives. As we talked a few weeks ago, you're looking at conquerors. You're looking at people that just didn't survive. People that just didn't come through, but you're looking at conquerors. In other words, you're looking at people, men of God, men of God, that has already been predestined by God to
according to the spirit of the holiness by the resurrection from the dead. By all, we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name, among whom are you also called in Jesus Christ. To all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God, our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all that your faith is spoken of throughout the whole world. For God is my witness whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his son, that without ceasing I may mention of you always in my prayers. Make a request, if by any means now at length I might have a prosperous journey by the will of God to come unto you. The verse that I'm going to uh, take my text from, brother, on this afternoon is, For I long to see you, that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift, to the end you may be established. That is, that I may be comforted together with you by the mutual faith full of you and me. Verse 11 again, For I long to see you, that I may impart unto you some spiritual gifts, to the end you may be Establish all of you. Thank you for the word. That it be released in Jesus' name. I want to talk to you tonight, or uh, this afternoon rather, from the area of theme with one word called impartation. If I would use the subtopic on this afternoon, my subtopic would be it's time to love. All right. That's what I tell you, it's time to love. Uh, it's, it's a time and it's an exciting time as we look in some of these areas of the scripture as Roman gives us such a great delight to understand this. We were sharing earlier how Paul writes in this particular book in a direction that makes it very clear as he presents the letters of Christian doctrine in throughout the scripture. He begins to discuss in various areas the various things of what he has observed in the world, levels of sinful things and all levels of humanity. And how he's coming now with this letter to reach uh, the people before he arrives because uh, there's some things that he must make them aware, uh, that they must know that sometimes uh, the enemy will try to block the truth yeah. from you. Have you ever been in a place where you're waiting on God to do something and your faith is tried? There's a truth and there's a power, as Paul writes, uh, through this particular letter that he wants them to understand that there is something that they have through the power of God mm -hmm. that cannot come through the law but it must come through understanding the fullness of righteousness. Yeah. He sets uh, the atmosphere with them to make them aware that there is something that he had received from the Lord. And because what he received from the Lord, it was something that was great. Well. That now he must impart into them. Sometimes in our life, there's people that we have met through life where it looks like when we come into their company, it's such a refreshing and it's such a pleasure to have certain spirits and characters in our life. In other words, usually, or I can use this as an example, Pretty much in our neighborhood or in our church, there was always somebody there that had a special impartation. Yeah, yeah. That in spite of how we came to church, in spite of how broken we were, in spite of whatever they experienced, 
It was something in their impartation that reached down inside of us and encouraged us. There is somebody that now uh, we have become from the impartation. Paul writes this letter and he writes to the church because he has something that he wants to give. You can understand uh, in his writing he talks in a way to express that there is such a desire and there is such a craving and intensified love that he wants to rub off now on those that he is ministering to. Yeah. He has come to understand that in verse number 11, it's a making request. If by any means now, at length that I may prosper, have a prosperous journey, that the will of God come unto you. So now he's providing something to them that he wants them to see and to receive. There are some areas of Paul's life that he has received greatly from the Lord. There's some impartation that he has received in some of his most roughest times. But in this, he writes that, uh, that he has something that he longed to impart. Because he believed that he had something spiritually to impart now in his sisters and brothers in Rome. This impartation now, it comes as a transfer. It comes as something where he believed that how he began to see and spend time with them and how perhaps there were things that that that, that lay hands and he had the ability to be able to lay hands and to go through a journey with them that there would be something spiritually that would make them richer. There's something now that he received that he had to talk to the old man and let them see that there's some areas of their life and areas that they're hearing now uh, that there's a spiritual inheritance that he wants them to receive to become richer in their life. The inheritance and the impartation was to understand the fullness of the presence of the Lord. He was talking to them about the things that he had experienced now. He looks at his life and he begins to channel the things in his life through his writing to show that now there's a fuller level of my faith. There's a fuller level of my desire now to walk in the things of God to where I have come from, to where the transformation of my life, there's some areas of my life now that has become an impartation. When I was in the midst of the journey, when he was in the midst of the issue of his life, the enemy don't allow you to see that God is putting something inside of you. He wants you to see all of the gloom and the doom. But the times when Paul spent in prison, he was anointed to write in a way that could not only set his spirit free, but could set captives free around him. He writes to convince them uh, that, that now, as understanding the importance of becoming a believer, Romans, the book of righteousness, there's a place now where uh, you don't have to live. You don't have to continue to struggle in the place where you were. But now there is a level of hope. There is something that he has received from the Lord that now through my writing I'm imparting into you. When you can understand the divine impartation from God, uh, this is a place where God allows his spirit to come in and to fill some things that will blow your mind. Yeah. Yeah. So when you're talking about an impartation, uh, you're talking about something uh, that can reach the places that you can't even explain. Yeah. You're talking about some things in your life now uh, where the word of the Lord is helping us to see. He wants them to know that what I have experienced, I have found Christ, I have found a change in my life and now I have something
into your hope and until you're waiting and into your faith that you will understand who God is. Yeah. Uh, there's a place now where uh, the, the transferring is coming. In other words, there's some things that uh, if we align this scripture to our life, we can see how God has spoken to us. He has made very clear uh, the evidence of who he is. Uh, the evidence of where he would have us to be and have us to live. Uh, the impartation now uh, that we have received in our change and through the revelation of the word has made a difference. It doesn't matter the fact that trials will come. It doesn't matter the fact that wind will blow. But we have a testimony that the impartation took place. And I'm not the same who I used to be.
next season. Your life, people of God, people are going to scratch their head because they're not going to understand how you made it all. Ah! <laughs> 